Well, hi, everybody. Okay, welcome, everybody. Um, we're going to read to Hillem, uh, Perik, Chaf, Perik 20. Um, we're going to read that together. Um, and so I, I mean, the the ones that I, that I, that I thought best to cover are the ones that I think will say the most. So we started with one, 130 and 121. Um, and in YU, we were saying, um, we were saying chapter 20 a lot. So that was a good idea to say chapter 20 to go over it together. So, um, if anyone just wants to open the text, we'll go through it, uh, best we can. English, um, some explanation again from, from the safer, the, the Rick Cook's safer edition. Um, <clears throat> so we'll go through that. So it says, um, start Lamanatseach means Morla Davi. Okay, so this is, uh, this how the that's how the chapter starts. Yan Ha Hashem Biyom Tsarya Yesagha Yesagevha Shame Elohe Yaakov. Okay, so first the article, first the article translation. Um that Yan Ha means answer. So Yan Ha Hashem. Hashem should answer you. Biyom Tsarya on the day of distress. Yesagevha. May you be made impregnable. Shame Elo Elo Kayako um by the name of the of the God of Jacob. So so first um just we'll read what the article says here that, that on Biyom Tsara they say it means a day of distress. I Meaning basically um that this that this sentence is saying that Hashem should answer you on the day that you have stress, um and he should support you basically through through the name of the name of Yaakov, through the name of of Jacob. So they, they quote from the Malbim that um the Yom Tzara, on the day of distress, they say the Malbim adds meaning before it's too late. Since it's a day of distress, we need we need to urgent we need to urgently be saved by a Kaddish Baruch Hu. Um and the arts girl also quotes why do we say by the by the God of Yaakov, right? That may may Hashem may the God of Yaakov support you. So why why specifically the God of Yaakov? So they quote from the Kad Hakemach that um that out of all the different out of all the different uh avos right Avram Yitzchak and Yaakov so Yaakov had the hardest life he had he had Aesop to deal with he had Lavan to deal with um he, then he went to Paro Rachel died um Yosef right was was he lost Yosef Dina was kidnapped and through all of it God protected him so therefore since we're also in a time of of distress um. Um, since we're in a time of distress, so we 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 cry out to the God of Yaakov. Um, also, so just the way the Rav Cook explains it, forgot to mention this in the beginning, is that he explains that that it's a uh, that this chapter is made up of two different sections. That the first section is is um that basically they explain here that that um it's 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 a prayer that the nation is actually um saying to the king. As a king, as a king, um, you know, in this in this time of need, that they're they're like praying for the king, almost saying to the king, right? So, meaning, if you look at the first word of a pasuk, a pasuk base of the second second verse, right, it says Yancha Hashem, Hashem should answer you. So, who's the you that we're referring to? So they explain that it means we're talking to the king, meaning the the king's almost like acting on our behalf. And we're saying that before you go out to war or before you, um, you know, whatever, whatever you need to do, because it's in this time of great need, Hashem should answer your prayers as, as the King. Um, so that's just, that's just how they explain it here. But um, yeah, when we say it too, we could, Hashem, we could even be thinking about um, our, our fellow, fellow uh, neighbors, different people who, you know, who, People who you know are davening very hard. Some people, um, you know, are a little bit, a little bit closer to home. You know, they're davening very hard. So we can even have them in mind. Yan Hashem, or could or could even mean us that Hashem should answer us in the day of the day of pain. Um, so they they explain here from from Rav Cook also that that um that it could be also that this prayer was said right before they went out to war. Um, that's when that's where you're going to see some of these themes that come again, but. Right, beyond Tzara, that's why that's why I would imply that um, you know, Dave, great pain. So it's so 
they it could be that they said it as they're going out to war and and we're and we're asking it Hashem and so they explain the next word Yisagevcha that the article explains it to me may you be made impregnable but they explain it a little bit differently um, they explain that that it really comes from a different word which means lemiskav um, lemagin which is it means to be like a shield meaning that Hashem should protect you Hashem should Hashem should Hashem should protect you or he should make you very strong. She make you very, very right. He should he should make you very strong. He should make you very might, mighty on this day. Um yeah. Okay, so so that's that's possible too. Then we say Yishlach Azrachami Kodesh. Um that that he should send he, that Yishlach means send. Ezracha is is your help, your help, mi kodesh, from from the holy, from the sanctuary, or mi tzion, from tzion yisadeka. He should support you. Um, so, so they, so again, article quotes that um, what does it mean Yishlach Ezracha mi kodesh? That he should he should uh send you some help from kodesh. So they explain it means from from the uh, Kodesh Kodashim inside the base of Mikdash where the where the Aaron was and that's where Hashem's uh, Ruach was, um, and so and so that and so that's where we that's where we're pro- we're davening for um for Kodesh Baruch Hu to to help us in in that way from from there and then, and um you know that's I think that's why they used to bring the Aaron out that in times of Navi they used to bring out the Aaron in in times of war because um because. That was uh helped us win the battle. So we're saying Yishlach as your Chami Kodesh that that our help should come from 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 Kodesh from the from from the Holy of Holies, which is the Aron, which was what they used, um, which which helped them in many in many different battles. Um, and they also say that as opposed to you, see, they say that we pray that our aid comes from the sanctuary based in holiness, not from unholy sources sources such as the hands of of. Gentile kings and armies which may fight on our side. It is the holiness of the Jewish people themselves, their sacred deeds and words that is their main alley in the battle. Meaning our help should our it's it's a prayer that our, our it's that Sion which should support us, that we shouldn't have to come to rely on, on other different nations. We should rely on we should be able to rely on God. That's that's what this prayer is saying in Pastor Gimel. I just want to see if they add anything here. Um I think they they basically say along the same line. So that's Pasuk Gimel. So then we say in Pasuk Dalid, Iskor Komin Chosecha, Veolascha Yedash Neitzela. Um, so, <clears throat> so, which means Iskor, may, may Hashem remember, Komin Chosecha, all of, all of your offerings, Veolascha, and all your, other types of these, your burnt offerings, like a ola and a mincha, yidashne sela. He sh- he should accept with with favor. Um, yeah. So, so um, on and the, you know on a literal trend, literal uh, I think there's two the, there's two ways to look at it. This pasuk that there's a literal explanation is that Hashem should remember basically all the korbanos we had, um, all the korbanos we had, and that should be that should be a merit for Hashem to protect us in this time of battle. But then the other way to explain it is that you know sometimes our tefillas, uh, you know we we can't bring korbanos anymore. That's we we don't we don't have a base to make that standing. But um, Chazal teaches that uh, Chazal teaches that is that our prayers are like we are like we brought korbanos. You know that's why we bring we bring uh that's why we daven um you know one in the morning and in the afternoon to correspond to the korbanos that they used to bring. So we're saying that Hashem should. Remember our minchosecha, our offerings, and olascha, and our and our other burnt offerings. Basically, that Hashem should remember our tefillas. You know, our tefillas that we really daven and and uh, made ourselves into. You know, made put so much into, like as if we brought a korban. Hashem should remember those. Hashem should remember those prayers, and that should be a merit for us in in uh, in in this battle, in this time of or or in the time of distress. It doesn't always always need to be in time of war, but um, in whatever time of distress that we're in. Happens to be that right now we are in a time of war, so that's very easy to have that in mind. Um, but that that is that is the way that they explain that they explain it here. Um, then we can move to Pasukei. Yitain lecha chelvavecha, the chol atascha yimalei. 
that Hashem should, should may Hashem grant, may He grant you as your heart desires, the whole atzascha and all of your all of your plans yimalei may 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 He fulfill. So atzascha, they they explain in the Rav Kook, the the Rav Kook explanation that um that normally in in Hebrew when we say the word etza that means advice. So they say that's not really how what it means over here. It doesn't really mean necessarily advice. It just means um you know and anything that anything that we plan, anything that we want to do. And they compare it. They compare it. This is very nice that there's a there's a famous uh, pasuk. Um, I think it's either, they even made it to, into a song that says in uh, in uh, Yeshaya, Utsu Eitza Vitufar Dabru Davar Yakum Ki Manu Kel. That it's that um, the pasuk says it's talking referring to the enemies, enemies of enemies of the Jewish people. That Utsu Eitza that when they when they make a plan. Right, bit too far. It will be. It will be foiled. Dabru davar that they're gonna. They're gonna say that they want to do something. They're gonna agree on an action, a plan of attack against against the Jewish people. Velo yakum, and it won't suck. It won't succeed. Ki imanu kel because Hashem Hashem is with us. So their plans are not gonna work. Right, but so so they explain that as opposed to the non non Jews, the enemies of God. Right, who enemies of the Jews who make plans and. And they don't work because Hashem's on our side, right? Chol all of our plans yimalei. Hashem's gonna, Hashem's gonna, Hashem's gonna fulfill those plans, and those plans are gonna work, right? That's the prayer. May may Hashem do as our heart desires. May our plans be able to be carried out. Chol are your plans, our King, right? The times of the Jewish people when they had the King, our King. You should, all 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 the, all your plans should be carried out, um, and we should get over this time of of distress. I thought that was very nice. Um, so that's that's plus a, that's plus a K. Um, okay. Okay. So then, then we say, "Nirana Nabi Yeshua Secha Uveshem Elo Kenu Nigdol Yimalei Hashem Kol Mishalu Secha." That then we say, "May we Niranana means." May we sing, may we sing for joy, Bishua Secha, at your salvation, Uvishem Elokeinu Nigdol, and in the name of Hashem, we shall uh, raise our banner, Nigdol. Yimalei Hashem, Kol Mishalu Secha. May Hashem fulfill Kol Mishalu Secha. All, all, all of, uh, all of your requests. Um. So. So they the the in, in the this seems kind of like a little bit like a repetition of of uh it's almost like a little bit of a repetition of of the pasuk okay, that we just read previously right five says right everything that we request Hashem should answer you so this seems to be a little a little similar um but it's it's more than that because it's saying that right the first part is saying that that when this happens right when Hashem when Hashem listens to uh when Hashem carries out what we want so then. Then we should merit, right? It's a it's a prayer that we should merit to to sing the Ranein Lashir Blismoach Yeshua She Tishava Mitzarascha that that because we should we should merit to to basically rejoice when we're saved from this from this uh, time of need. Um, yeah. Um, and then they they so they also explain that that um nigdol right so let's go back right nirana bishua sacha may we sing for Hashem and salvation who v'shem elokeinu nigdol so the way the Arshko explains it is that and in the name of Hashem we should raise our banner so they explain in Rav Kook that it doesn't it doesn't mean what does it mean to raise our banner so they say it means that we should basically all all be able to gather together right that nita safe after osha kavana nita safe lahoda ya v'simchal yeshua that we should gather and basically be able to praise Hashem because of this great joy that um that uh that that we were saved from this from from this time of need. Um and then it says Yimale Hashem Kom Shalutacha that it's again this is that's like a little bit of repetition that Ya se koma shitavakesh we many bit filas ha with Yivor Ze Simu Esibracha Lam Nalach. So so that um that basically everything that everything that you ask, right? It's again, it's a prayer to the king. That's how they explain it. it's a prayer to the king or for the king. That 
that uh, we're saying to the king that everything that you ask from Hashem, right? Um, that everything you ask Hashem to do, he should carry out. So that's that's how they that's how they divide the first half of this chapter, meaning to meaning to like just summarize and put it all together that the king's going out. I mean, he's uh, it's a time of need, and the king needs to get stuff done to to uh, work on behalf of, of Am Yisrael, either in time of war, in the time of other great needs. And we're, we're, we're praying for him that Hashem should answer his prayers. Um, it should be from it should be from the Kodesh, from the sanctuary that Hashem should should answer. You should remember the Karbanos that we brought or the Tefillahs that which were like Karbanos that we brought. You should carry out as opposed to the, the as opposed to uh, our enemies, Hashem, which their plans are not carried out. Hashem should carry out our plans, and then when that happens, we we should uh, God willing, we will sing for joy, and then we conclude by saying Gimalai Hashem Kol Mishal Uzecha. That may Hashem, may Hashem, may Hashem grant all of all of our requests, all of your requests, um, and so that so so that we may we be victorious. And now, what happens is that the second half of this second half of this chapter of Tehillim, second chapter, it's kind of like it's like a, it's like a, they, they explain it in different ways. That there's a lot of ways to to explain how how it works, but you'll see that the tone kind of shifts. It's almost like it's almost like because we pray to Hashem, so we know we're gonna win. That's basically that's basically how they explain it. And they have another explanation, which is that it, they're like because it's it's really a tale of a tale of two. It's the, this chapter is really a tale of two different stories. That the first first half is, you know, we're, we're we're begging to Hashem, please save us. We need it. Listen to our request, and then the second half is like, okay, Hashem, Hashem's the best. Hashem saves us. So, like, what happened? So, I go so far as to say that there's an explanation that the first half was before the war, and the second half was after we won the war. Um, so that's that's one that's one way to explain it. But another way is that that once we once we uh, pray to Hashem and and you know by saying these words we strengthened our amuna and our belief in Hashem. So we know what's going to happen is that Hashem is going to protect us and and. And we're going to to merit to see great things, and that's why you'll see in the second half that, that the tone really shifts. So and that so that starts with with a pasuk zayin pasuk seven chapter verse seven. Sorry, atayadati. Now I know ki hoshia Hashem meshicho because Hashem has saved His anointed one. Yaaneu mishmei kocho. He will answer him from His sacred heaven. Bigvuras yesha yemino with uh with the victories, the strength of the victories, give me no of his of his right arm. Um, yeah. So they explain that give me no this this word of give me no um, means um, means like uh, it's uh, they always use the right hand in in relation to be to being saved, especially especially for Mashiach. So that's why that's why that's why uh, it uh, quotes give me no the right hand. But um, yeah. But it's basically it's basically saying uh, basically saying that what we spoke about that that because because of because we we prayed Hashem now we know or even at the after the battle now we know that Hashem Hashem is going to save the the anointed one and this is a very famous pasuk pasuk chet um, which is a, which is very powerful um, in fact um we we had into Hillam and Wayu the uh the other day we I mean. We do it some weeks. I don't, I don't really know exactly when we do it, when we don't do it. But sometimes they do a massive gathering, and we we all gather to mm-hmm. to say to Hill and all of all of undergrad and smicha and they have some MTAs, uh, MTA students, and we all gather. We say to Hill and for around uh, like ten minutes, say a bunch of different chapters, and then we have then we uh then we say mincha together. So we had that this past Monday, um, and they invite different people up to say different different chapters of the Hill and so. So chapter twenty was uh was said by uh our uh, president Rabbi Doctor Ari Berman he he had the he was reading chapter twenty and when he got to this pasuk um you could tell that he said it with a little more little more meaning um and he's usually like a pretty relaxed guy but we got to this pasuk I think he almost almost like almost like tears in his eyes as he was saying that as he was saying this pasuk so I'll read it. so with that introduction we'll see pasuk eight um that it says Ela some are with 
chariots, ve'elevasusim, and some are with horses, va'nachnu b'shem Hashem Elokeinu Nazkir. But we, b'shem, in the name of Hashem Elokeinu, our God Nazkir. Um, yeah, so that's a pasuk. Um, I'm gonna. I, I want to read it. I want to read it in the real cook later because I think they say it very nicely. So they say, "Ela varechad yesh me ha'oivim hanilchamim banu shem chazakim berichbam gutchim alav." That there are some of our enemies who 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 we fight against that they're very strong, um, and they have very 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 powerful uh they have very powerful uh armies basically, and and they rely on them. Um, and there's some, there's some of our enemies that they're very strong. They have a lot of horses and they rely on them too. And they're certain that they're going to win because of those. But what about us? We're going to call Hashem's name and we're going to be saved because of that. Yeah. So that's, so that's, that's the explanation. Um, Right, that because because we because we call out to Hashem because we know we have Hashem on our side, um, we we know we're gonna be we know we're gonna be victorious. That's how we fight. We fight with, and we also fight. We have a we thank God we have a very strong army, but we but because we also have the name of Hashem, so we know we know we're gonna be victorious. Um, and and I saw I'm looking for it. I'm just, I want to see exactly what they quoted. That yeah, so they said. This is very nice that they quoted that they said this is actually this is actually a pasuk in the Torah that says the same thing. I mean, this is to him, but also also in the Torah says the same thing. They say, say they explain that the pasuk in the Torah says, "When you go out to war against your enemies, when you see this, uh, you see their horses, you see their chariots, you see this nation right that there, they seem much stronger than you, much more powerful than you." They say, Lo don't be afraid of them. Ki Hashem im, imach because Hashem is with you. Hashem is with you. You have nothing to be afraid about. So they say, so, so that's the, 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 the same thing is going on here. They were saying, there are those who have, those who rely on their on their armies, on their horses, but we have shame Hashem located in Askir. Hema, so then we go to, to nine. Hema carvin afalu, vanachnu kamu vani sodad. Um, that they dropped to their knees and fell, vanachnu kamu vani soda. But we arose and 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 were invigorated. So it's either it's either talking about the future about what's going to happen, or again, if you understand that this is happening even after the war, that we're saying, yeah, they they fell. And we and we were able to get up. Why? Because we we had we had a we had a Shem on our side. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, okay. And then we say so 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 that's that's all we basically have. That's that's chap. That's part two of this of this chapter. Again, part one is that we're we're praying for the king on behalf of the king so that everything everything. All of his requests get answered, and part two is um, that we know with certainty that we will win, or that we even did win the war. And then they then there's one more pasuk pasuk yod ten, um, and they explain here that ponek mispalim el el Hashem that everyone basically turns to Hashem, um, and and they they ask for one one last request. One last request, and they says it could be that that even this this chapter was said as or this phrase was even said as they went out to battle. It says Hashem Hushia, Hashem Seves, Hamelach Yaneinu Biyom Kareinu. May the King answer us Biyom Kareinu on the day we call to Him. So they explain that because we were praying on behalf or for the King that His tefillahs should get answered. So we so we have to explain that you know okay we're praying for that king but who's the real king who's the the Melech Malchayim Lachim that's Hashem and Hashem is gonna save us Hashem you should save us as we go out to war step on the battlefield Beyom Karenu on the day we call him which is today and and every day 
And that's that's basically chapter 20. Does anyone have any, any other things to add? Any comments? That's just, again,